Yo guys, Eddie Hates Anime here, and today we're going to be doing RM, Right Place, Wrong Person. This album just dropped. Not even all of the lyric videos are done dropping. Groin just dropped like three minutes ago, so I was like, screw it, I'm going to do it now, because now there's only one missing, and it's uh, nuts. And shout out to Shadow by Yoongi, by the way, because I'm going to be using all of their lyrics that they posted for this album, and they've been going ham. From an hour ago, 50 minutes, 42 minutes, 36, 30, 26, 17, 3 minutes, and to now, they posted each of the songs that didn't already have lyrics. Um, and that's why I'm assuming by the end of this video, Nuts might have lyrics. If it doesn't, we'll probably just listen to it without it and just kind of take the L, because obviously I don't know Korean, and I couldn't find any other upload for it. But I'm going to assume that they might upload it by the end, so I know it might be a little weird reacting to it, not as the second song. But I do want to see it with the lyrics. So maybe I should... I'll just listen to it without the lyrics. And then we'll re-listen to it later if we get the lyrics in the middle of this. Like, I'll even refresh right now just to see. It's not going to be up all of a sudden. But just to see. See, it's not. But that's what I did earlier with Groin and it was uploaded. And it only takes like 10 to, to 15 minutes in between them. So I think we will get it. But I also don't want to wait any longer to start the video. Because it's already 10.30. Which is like when I go to sleep. I want to go to sleep. I'm sorry. Okay? But yeah. We're going to start off with Right People, Wrong Place. So excited, though, because Come Back to Me and uh, Lost. Oh, my goodness. I just reacted to Lost like 30 minutes ago. What a banger. And obviously, Indigo was a great album, but I have a feeling he might be able to top it. He might be able to top it. Uh, we'll have to see, though. Let's get it. I did say production so far on this album has seemed very interesting. And it continues here. Alright, really hammering in the message. I like it. Setting the tone for the album. Hey, okay, so in Lost, I was like, question, is this actually, like, supposed to be video gamey? And now hearing this, I think it it's on purpose. Or futuristic, I don't know what the right term would be. But we had a lot of those, like, crazy digital noises. Yeah, this really sets the mood well. And the, the whole concept of the album is a problem that a lot of people deal with. And it's unfortunate, because the outcomes of life can be so different if you just flip them. Like, if right people were in the right place... Rather than wrong people being the wrong place. I don't know. You, you get what I mean, though. Like, because there's probably so many people that, like, you could have crossed paths with, but they were in the wrong place. They were the right person, but they were in the wrong place. And then on the flip side, maybe in the right place, you meet the wrong person. And life just has such a different outcome because... This man's voice is so cool. Uh, I think I was wrong to call that like video gamey, but I still stand by what I said about like lost beat at times. Ah, I was hoping maybe we'd get it. I yeah, I'm gonna skip right straight to ah no, let's still listen to nuts. I don't know, would this be weird if I let's just let's just hold off on nuts for now. I know it's weird doing it out of order, but it's only one song, and I really don't want to listen to it without the context. I'm sorry, but. Hopefully we get it during this recording and then I'll do it. I'll check after each song. If we don't get it by the end, obviously I'll just listen to it before credit roll because I obviously don't want to listen to it after the ending. But we'll just listen to it on its own. And that's just how it is, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I know I can wait till tomorrow, but I'm pretty busy tomorrow. So I want to do this now. And I want to hear the album now because I like RM. Rap Monster. And uh, yeah, I got to sleep. So out of love. Super excited. But, uh, this is also a short one. So um, obviously Nuts is the first real song. We'll just pretend we listen to it. Oh my gosh. Okay, Nuts was crazy. Now we're getting a bit of a cool down with a two-minute song. In and out, nice and easy. Wondering what Out of Love... I mean, it's going to tie into the overall theme. Because right, which one is it? Right people, wrong place? No, right place, wrong person. Specifically person, not people. That's interesting. 
So he was in the right place and had the wrong person, and it changed him. And now he's out of love. Ha! Oh, a little like <laughs> industrial noise trap. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I don't actually know what constitutes industrial noise trap. It just sounds cool. The term. This is pretty nasty, though. I'm just a back of a that, uh, sorry to talk before he thinks, but I think that's a symbol crashing. That, 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 that part sounds fire. Or is it like, a, I don't know, it's something. I'm just a pack of a cigarette, I'm gonna burn down the love and Oh my god, light. what a bar to start off. He's comparing himself to a cigarette, burning down indiscriminately. Wow. Wrongs, even like nature. Where I've been living for my whole life. Smoking kills, I know it's my fucking business. You bitches, stop, don't talk shit. Ashes full like the snow, I've been changing all the flow. Yeah, I love how mean this beat is. And obviously it matches his demeanor. I thought this was going to be a, so a sad song about falling out of love. No, he is pissed. Someone pissed this man off. Hopefully it wasn't me. To let go the past, the memories to stacks up the truth. Diaries without priories Think I already kill myself Out of the fucking biz Smoke drink people I know they stink Now I'm on a sucker party But I put them in the sink Sorry got you out of Cause it's my fucking script It's almost like turning a little spooky Like not like in an actually scary way or anything But just the fact that it's That it's still crashing It's psh, psh. It's almost unsettling. Cause it's my fucking script. And I'm sure like on a level of like, well, okay. Diehard fans probably aren't going to feel this, but I feel like, let's say you listen to this. It could also add another layer to the hauntingness. Cause you're so used to him being the idol maybe. And then you listen to this and it's just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wow, the production is so good on this. How did you manage to mix that in? I'm loving this. And I like how because the the beat is already low key, so I think destructive. That's why I said low-key. I think destructive is the right term for it. Because it almost feels like a destructive song. And I like that he's not focusing too much on, like, crazy rhyme schemes and and um, deliveries. Like, obviously, the bars are hard. But it's really... He's letting the beat do the talking and him doing the explaining. I'm just kidding. That's just I was just trying to sound cool. But he's letting the beat show the... I, I don't know how to explain it. Like... Do the flashiness while he just talks, while he just tells you his feelings. God damn, bro. God damn. Let's see his nuts here. Ah, okay. It was 12 minutes ago that groin was uploaded, so maybe after. Domodachi. I almost said Tomodachi. That is not what that says. But yeah, Out of Love was fucking crazy. I am really, really happy with that song. I love it conceptually. How it fits into the album. And obviously the production. I don't know how they pulled that off. Domodachi has little sims in it. That should be cool. Let's see what we're cooking, man. Let's see what we're cooking. My back hurts. I like how we're continuing. I believe this is a sex or a, one of those fucking thingies. I like how we're continuing from the last one with the craziness. Like, it almost feels like it's carrying on very, like, it wasn't an exact transition from the last song, I don't think, but it's carrying on the spirit of it leading into this one. Which I think makes for a good transition from Out of Love to Domodachi. But I'm sure the songs would be way different by the end. I just like the consistency because it doesn't feel like a collection of songs. It feels like one story as an album. Or at least it does so far. I didn't even hear nuts. Hopefully after this one we will. <laughs> Mm 
Motherfuckers want a big wrong. Motherfuckers. Bro's very mad this album. I've been slipping for what kind of bullshit. EJ Johnson, my chosen. Also, just want to get it. Take a sip. Why did this turn into a subway surfers beat? What the fuck? Bullshit. EJ Johnson, my chosen. Also, just want to get it. Take a sip. The Johnny Bull mod of shit. All the sucks. But what I wanted to say was that. Hold on. First, I do gotta check this out, Loki, because I think it. <laughs> I think the, the comparison is there. What was I gonna say off of the, the lyrics? Oh, I've been slipping through all kind of bullshit. Now I forgot where I came from. That I mean, I guess I'm probably looking too deep into it, but still, once again, right place, wrong person. I'm assuming at one point, hopefully, we get like a really detailed track about a specific person or something, but maybe not. Maybe it's more vague, which would also make sense. But I, I I'm coming up with like an internal fan fiction of like what happened but low-key low-key kind of bullshit wait EJ Johnson, not R show wrong shit. part wait Oscars wanna get it take a sip wait no okay we don't see it fuck sometimes i hit with those and then sometimes i listen to my comparisons and i'm like ah oh, fuck I, I ruined it I've heard of the subway surface theme since I was like fucking 11. How was I supposed to remember being that different than I thought it was? Johnny Bull, I'm out of shit. All the suckers wanna hit it. I'ma lead you to the heaven. Group the pity. All my friends wanna get it. It does sound cool though. All my friends wanna take it, not the post. Yeah, I'm not down with the post. Not the subway surface theme. I'm not fucking with the doing shit. No more goofing around, I won't cool shit. I'ma stay calm when they come with the noise. God, they're really playing around with that bass. I love that intro for it. Ah. And then obviously, I think it's the guitar here that was doing that thing that I was joking about. But. My, my instruments are thrown out the window. I'm supposed to be asleep right now. Oh, all my friends want to take it out the post. Yeah, I'm not down with a bullshit. Get the fuck down, motherfucker. But then, no more goofing around. I won't go. Face is coming up. While he's saying that he stay calm, we have it come in. I just love. I think, like, they're really selective about lyrics matching with certain parts. Oh my god. I'm gonna go for the round, I won't cool shit. I'm gonna stay calm when they come on with the notion. Cause your boots are more than for the bullshit. Check with you the morning, that truly hot do shit. Yeah, hot get fire and shout it. Let me go eight, get down with the party. Yeah, I'm not down, motherfucker, with the bullshit. Get the fuck down. Yeah, I'm shorter of a bullshit. I'm confused now. Okay, hold on. I gotta search up something. So why was it called Domodachi? And not Tomodachi. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm reading something. Domodachi sounds like a pronunciation of Tomodachi from someone with a cold. Okay, well, this is just a stupid Japanese joke, I think. Um, I wonder why they because very clearly they're saying Tomodachi in that Japanese bit. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. It, it could just be something Korean that I don't know. Um, I was just, at the start I was joking about the Tomodachi thing, but now I'm starting to think it, uh, it's a play on words. I, I don't know. So, better come with Look, step in the place and they yell, go. Oh! Ah, with the that's so clean. What the fuck? Look, step in the place. I like how it punches you in the mouth. It just comes in. Ah, ah. I already told them I'm a gorilla. Sims and all and man, it don't get bigger. Catch me in the back when my G's them. Greet them with respect when you see them. Run me up a check, come and need that. And give my Cody a stack. Cause that's my dog. That's my homie. You and I know. Are you phony? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I think I like this more than Indigo already. And Indigo was great. I am just loving how this album is put together. Holy shit. That ain't snapped. Like, the, the pace changes. Feel out of nowhere, but it works. And yeah, uh, obviously, if I haven't mentioned it yet, I'm loving the jazz influences. Especially this song. Wow, man. Wow. Okay.
First off, Domodachi was amazing. Second off, Nuts has been uploaded. Thank you, God. I took a bet and I won. And look at that. 13 minutes in between these. That is 13 minutes that I would have not been going to sleep. And I can go to sleep 13 minutes earlier because of my bet. We will listen to Nuts now. I know it kind of fucks up the order. But let's just pretend we only listen to Right People Wrong Place. We're listening to Nuts now. Second song on the album. And we ought to think of it in the context of Out of Love is right after this. So it's right after the intro. It's the first full song. And then Out of Love is right after. Wondering how this is going to go. Let's see. Once again, shout out to Shadow by Yungi for the translations. So clutch. Such a W. Please subscribe to them if you have not. Okay, I can totally see how this goes in Out of Love already. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, we're getting cool with it. Oh, oh. Getting old school with it. Hey, 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 hey. My God, this shit's amazing. I could make this right place for you. I could make it just right for you. I could make this right place for you. I could make it right. She a pro rider. Rider. I'm assuming your name would gotta dick riding. A fucking slider when it comes to love. <laughs> the song is called Nuts for a reason. I'm just kidding. I could be misinterpreting. But I was gonna say the beat does feel like a sexy kind of beat, like like sexy time. And RM already naturally has like the laid back, chill, sexy voice. So it's probably gonna be a sexy song, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. She could be an all not a bass gas, not a no man could have a father, I go, nay, or she moves and go ham get hit, or say. Those, I think it's those types of drums, the bongo drums or whatever, the in the background, loving that too. The, the instrument choices are, are, are so good. Oh yeah, it's definitely a sexy song. You know what, here's how I'm going to connect it, right? So, intro, right people, wrong place. He met the right person. But in the wrong place. Therefore, meaning it was the wrong person for that place. Therefore, meaning it was the right place but the wrong person. And now he's going nuts over their sex, freaky time and whatnot. Next song, he went, he got out of love and was very mad at the world, very mad at everything. And then Domodachi came. He's reflecting on friendships, even bringing in a friend into the song. Next, we got question mark because we don't know what comes next. I am a fucking storytelling genius, man. Yeah, this is definitely a fun one. And he is perfect for these types of hooks. Oh, what the fuck? How is this turn to a rock song? What the fuck? No gun do be the son of Sarai so may bami men quago and I get I am so angry. I, I I guess I accidentally stopped the video right when I was about to talk. I was freaking out saying that not only is this flow here amazing. Let me actually back up a bit because I, I started playing it like 10 seconds and, and then I realized I wasn't recording. But not only is this flow amazing, but the production is so out of this world. And it's not like I'm surprised because obviously we expect RM to have amazing lyrics. So that's not what I'm surprised about. And it's not even that I didn't surprise, uh, didn't expect amazing production. K-pop has some of the cleanest production there is, but this is just so outside the box, even outside of what RM's had before on production, uh, in like Indigo and stuff. Even though I really like it, um, this this is just so well crafted for each song, mixing a bunch of different flavors, and, and the way that they work into each other and weave in each other in this entire album so far has been so goddamn impressive. I, yeah, I am extremely impressed. I don't know where the video left me off at in terms of the song, but yeah, I, I played like to hear and then realized I wasn't recording, so I went back a bit. God damn! We could see the karma coming through. The monster hasn't been me. I beg you, baby, please. For I will, I will, I will wish you a true happiness. Time. Hey! I can see how that leads into I love them. 
Because this, like, I, I was surprised at the, like, I was just at the start, and I was like, how are we going to get to Out of Love? Not that they had to. Like I said, it doesn't have to make every song connect amazingly. But it still ends on this, like, note that I feel like leads into Out of Love very well. This is almost ominous sounding shit. Oh, I fucked that up. I didn't mean to speed that up. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me go. So good. Next, we got question mark interlude uh, featuring on Spotify. It said RM Domi and JD Beck. What the fuck? They made pilot. Take a chance. Okay, so I know these motherfuckers. That's cool. Um, yeah, let's check this out, man. It's only a minute 50. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna get one thing and then we ran out of this. Okay, let's let's go. Hey, 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 hey. I guess the best way to explain it, because like obviously there's some stuff that you could listen to this and you'd hear it on Indigo in terms of like I think this builds off Indigo is my best way to explain the production. It really feels like an evolution of what we were seeing there. Because that album was so good, but holy shit. And I, I'm not tearing it down to lift this one up. I still think that's a great album. It doesn't suddenly make that album worse. But I can't help but compare it because I'm a fucking dickhead. <laughs> it been better if I didn't know you. I don't know. Were they the right person in the wrong place? The wrong place and the right person? Now that shit. Yeah, man's looking at his life, man. He going through it. Hold on one second. How old is RM? Is he old enough to be called Unk? He is 29, going 30. I think we can call him Unk. Unk going through it, man. Mm, beautiful. Love that. I feel bad. I'm dancing to his misery, but this shit's fire. Oh my god. Dude, this shit is so good. Y'all, it's gonna be 11 p.m. I gotta sleep. But who needs sleep when you got gro groin? What a fucking weird transition. Segway. I don't care. That shit was hilarious. Let's get it. We got RM groin. Don't think this one has any features. The, the only there's only one left that has features, and it's around the world in a day. But yeah, uh, let's check it out. <laughs> And I am recording, I made sure. <laughs> nice. I'm liking a lot of the choir like type things they use in, in this album. Or like background singing type shit, because they didn't lost two. Was it? There's like a little intro to that. What? Okay. Okay. What a. Oh, or is, I, I, I don't know. Yo, Sasang and Chess on the Seggy Gamana. I'll talk about. Oh my god. The, the, the beat, the dinner, dinner. Persona 5, man. <laughs> See, I'm so, I'm so, I'm such, I'm so fucking annoying because I'll hear one small, like, badoom or that sounds similar to something else. And my brain just goes, hey, yo. <laughs> uh, in a funny way. Not like in an actual comparison way. Like, obviously. But, you know, music has been around for fucking ever. Of course, one thing is going to sound similar to another thing. And it's just funny to compare random ass shit that sounds similar. Like, uh, I was reacting to the Quadeca album uh, two years ago or some shit. Or a year ago. And one of the songs, when it had its breakdown, it sounded like the Home Depot theme. Da -da -doom 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 -doom. What the fuck it is. And I compared it. And everyone in chat. Okay, it was only like one person, but they were like, what the fuck? And it was a funny ass moment. That's so my brain be weird. I'm sorry. Every time you know I fuck it up, fuck it up, bitch. 
I think his favorite curse word might be fuck, guys. Only represent myself. Oh my god, is he talking shit about corporate? He said I'm a breadwinner for a guy I don't like. Oh my god. Yeah, RM is an old soul man. Okay, well, he is, he is almost 30. But, like, you can definitely see his age through the music because, I mean, first off, he's older than me. But second, like, he's keeping that spirit of some of these older, I, I hate to say old when he's, he's only, like, 10 years older than me. But like some of these older styles of music alive a little bit through his. Okay, he's keeping up the unlucky bastards thing. Love when people do that. Like, keep up starting lines. You dig? You dig? I'm just. Oh! Can you tell that I'm tired? RM is tired. I'm tired of y'all bullshit. He's talking his shit, man. Bro, man, I am so fucking impressed. There's only three songs left. We're already almost done. So after. Um, groin is this song, and this one leads into lost, which we've are obviously heard earlier today. But once again, I'm always the type of guy to see if there's any connections in between songs, instrumentally, lyrically. Uh, I'm a little stupid sometimes; I don't be catching it. But at least music-wise, I can see if I can hear the connection. Let's get it. We got heaven. Ooh, I'm gonna love this one. This is the summer nights, like, let me get depressed over a girl that doesn't exist. Type shit. You don't need to hide it. Ooh. It's one of my favorites, I'm not gonna lie. See how it just goes with the string. Dim, 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 dim. Yeah, this one's got vibes. And I like how after all the other songs being so like yes, yeah, my favorite part of this album is the fact that the production is so out there and wacky and wild, but still well put together. But it is nice to have at least one song where we can come back down to earth for a second. Because it's getting exhausting. <laughs> Obviously in a good way, I'm just joking. But like on a real note, it is nice to have one that's a little bit calmer. Uh, in terms of how much is going on. My back hurts so bad. You know you I know he said to me he, but I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like singing. You know you not a lover, I'm happy where the devils are. Hold on. Sorry, this does not have anything to do with this, but I I guess I didn't post a video that I thought I posted. Oh my god, the new Sujin music video, the Mona Lisa one, I didn't post it. I thought I did. And I look and it, it wasn't posted. I'm so sorry. That has nothing to do with this, but okay, we're, we're back. We're back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm happy where the devils are. Hey, we should get MGK on the remix of this one. I'm fucking kidding. Chill. Man, this is heavenly. Almost like the song is called Heaven. Oh! Still got depressing undertones, though. Story of the album's life. Sorry, I thought it was over. Oh, I guess we can still do this. Oh my god, we only have two more left, and one of them is the fucking outro. Well, not the outro. Come back to me is the outro. Kind of weird. I'll explain why. I'm gonna let the song finish. Okay, so I say kind of weird because 
it, it, the song is called Credits Rule. Or like TTTT -t 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 credit roll, but I, I think the TT is supposed to show like a curtain or a stage or something. I don't, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. You assume that credit roll would be the outro and then come back to me would be the, um, I guess you could treat it like an encore maybe. I mean, it's called come back to me. I don't know. I wonder why that's the last song unless they just didn't have a good location for the album i don't know is it streaming i don't know or do they just maybe it just does work as the outro and i just don't know why yet until i hear credit rule and think of it leading into it because to be fair come back to me when i think about it when i think about the music video when i think about everything it does kind of work as the end of this i could see it i could see it all right last full song of today around the world in a day featuring Moses Sumney. I think that's how you say it. That's how I've always said it. I've never been corrected so far because I don't talk to anybody and I have no friends. But it's all good. Let's get it. Look at these two beautiful men right here. And uh, then we got Credit Roll, which is... I still, I still don't know what these are. Oh, wait. We got a quarrel on the Korean language. Okay. Oh, it's a crying face. Never mind then. Oh, crying because the credits are rolling. Oh my god. Oh, uh, let's get. I, I'm looking forward more to this than the Little Sims one, and that's crazy because the Little Sims one impressed me so much in terms of collabs. So this should be insane. Ah, oh, heavenly voice. I'm telling you. Only time will sort it. Right, wrong, oh my god! The... Yes! There's synergy! Oh my god! I told y'all, this is gonna be the best collab. It's so good. Such a fucking fun style! Ow. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's just some people who... Beautiful is literally the only way to describe it. I don't know, it, 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 it transcends... I don't know, godly voices, I don't know. Wow. Oh my god. This, this might be my favorite song in the whole album. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually low key, low key dick writing, but it's a good ass song. This is such my style, these vocals specifically. They actually mix together so well. They snapped on this one. Oh, yes. I love that, and I hope they bring it back in at the end. Like, I can totally see it now. I see them laughing all around the town. Brother voices. I see them laughing all around the town. And even though this one, ironically, right? Ironically on this album, that I like this song the most, mainly because of the vocals being so good when I've been praising the production the most this whole time. But don't get me wrong, I'm not sleeping on the production of this one either. It has been fucking great. Wow. And it still fits with the rest of the album, uh, sonically. Wow. Look around. Crescendo. Oh my god, we still got some rap monster in it! And it works so well! 
sometimes I lose that chit chat. You hear me back a lot of times, I never did that. I can barely sleep, I got your ghost in my closet. If you want my blood, that's some tears. That's bad ass. I don't know if I want to dance, if I want to fight somebody, I don't know. But once again, we've gotten the rock thrown in our face and, and just like, ah. Bro, it's 11 p.m. I'm running back. This, I'm just going to say the same thing. It's so good. Oh, my God. This is my favorite. Oh, Yes, we're ending on this. No beat. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is about to be me crying. Crying. Look at crying. Because it's the end. Oh my god. That was amazing, okay? That was fucking crazy. Holy shit, we got Credit World and we're gonna end it, man. What the fuck have I experienced? Oh. So this does lead out of that one pretty good. Want the credits roll? I wasn't expecting lyrics to be honest. Tight. Do you stay inside or go to life? Yeah, I'm so grateful. Oh my god, it makes sense. It makes sense. Like I said, I think that come back to me is the epilogue because this is when the credits roll. Do you hang tight? Do you stay inside or go off to life? Come back to me is his way of going off to life and continuing life, even though this part of the story's over. I think. <laughs> You're welcome, man. I'm grateful for your time. This is beautiful. I will. I just feel the realness from him in his voice, man. I don't want to explain it. His voice is charismatic. I know this isn't the last song, but that feels like the perfect way to end this, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to consider Come Back to Me the epilogue or the the extra side story at the end i don't know or like the what are they doing now holy shit what a fucking album what a fucking album right place wrong person i'm not i'm not gonna lie i i, I me, 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 me. that's how i should be right now i i'm not gonna lie and say i'm wide awake but i don't feel like i'm gonna fall asleep right now because of how much i enjoyed that holy shit Hopefully y'all enjoyed the reaction. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, because I'm doing more of BTS and, you know, RM that I haven't done yet, and everyone in that. Um, yeah, I, I don't even feel like promoting, man. I just, I, I do want to go to sleep, obviously, but I still got to eat and do other videos and shit before I go to sleep, which means I'm not going to go to sleep till like midnight, but it's okay. It was worth it, because this was fucking amazing, and that means I can listen to it tomorrow at work instead of having to wait till after I get home and reacting to it. Because I would rather be able to listen to it all day. Because that shit was amazing. Especially that last song. Holy shit. This is my favorite. Indigo is great once again. Not anything. Indigo isn't all of a sudden bad. This was the best album from him. In my opinion. I know he only has two. But. Even amongst the BTS solo albums that I've heard. Oh wait. He has Mono. That's the other one that I haven't done yet. I'm sorry. He has three. Um, I'm so sorry about that by the way. Uh. But out of all the BTS like solo albums that I've heard, this is definitely up there for one of the best. Not to turn into like some competition or anything. I'm just my brain likes to rank things. Holy shit! Hope you guys have a wonderful day though. I'm out.